Hey everyone, it is Kevin here, and um, I just wanted to uh, make a quick little video with some updates about uh, my preparation for the Tokyo Marathon. So the Tokyo Marathon is on February 28th, um, about two months from now. And I was just reading, actually, I picked up a copy of Canadian Runners Magazine when I was in Canada for the Christmas vacation, and uh, it actually mentioned that 280,000 people applied for spots in the Tokyo Marathon uh, for one of the 30,000 spots, so uh, I guess uh, I'm pretty lucky I got in. <clears throat> um, so, um, my vacation was kind of a, a bump in the road of my training because, uh, number one, um, I became lazy because I was on vacation. And uh, number two, the temperatures were normally on an average day below minus 20 centigrade. Um, and I simply didn't have the gear for running in that. Um, you know, here in Kobe or in Japan, this, this part of Japan is kind of on the same line of latitude as like South Carolina. So cold winter temperatures here are, you know, five degrees, 10 degrees Celsius. And I've got clothes for that. So, but as soon as I got back, I started training like crazy. Um, on Sunday, I ran 15 kilometers. Last night, I ran about 11 or 12. Uh, tonight, I'm going to go out and do some tempo runs. So a tempo run is kind of when you run at a very easy pace. You pick a, an object off in the distance, and you run towards it very quickly. And then once you get to it, you slow down again, and you keep doing that. Um, a kind of a bit of speed training. Um, this weekend coming up on Sunday, I plan to do a two-and-a-half-hour long run. Um, the week, weekend after that, I'm, I'm gunning for a three-hour long run. Um, two and a half hour long run at the pace I'm hoping for is probably, you know, uh, a slow pace. It'll be more than, more than 20 kilometers. Um, yeah. So on February 14th, I will be running a half marathon here in Kobe called the uh, Valentine's Love Run. I ran it last year. And, uh, yeah. So I just wanted to quickly show for any of the people who care about running and probably not a lot of you do. So bear with me. Maybe you want to skip this video. Um, some people wonder what kind of gear I use. I use a lot of different types of, of, of clothing. Um, I've got like everything from ASICs, or as I say here in Japan, ASICs, to uh, New, New Balance and Nike. Um, I tend to find Nike running clothes more comfortable than other types. Um, I have my main kind of jacket for this time of year uh, is a, a, Nike, uh, a Nike Dry Fit, or a Nike Fit jacket here I wear. Um, I wear uh, Frank Shorter running gloves, so I do wear running gloves because it's uh, really cold on the extremities. Um, I recently bought a whole pile of, of socks of these uh, Adidas or Adidas uh, technical fiber socks. As far as shoes go, um, I have low arches, uh, unfortunately. So a shoe, so I overpronate. So basically, when my feet come down, they turn in. So I need a shoe with a lot of support, and I found over the years uh, the best shoe for me is uh, the ASICS Gel Cayenne. And this is the shoe I swear by, this is all I wear. Uh, this is a Gel Cayenne 15. Um, uh, this is what I wear, and these puppies will be, actually, um, mid-month I'm gonna buy a new pair, which will be the ones I wear for marathon time. These ones are kind of wearing it a bit, but this is a shoe I wear, the Gel Cayenne. Uh, the great shoes are just awesome. They're a little heavy, but they offer a lot of support, and I mean, I'm slow as shit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm not built for speed. Um, yeah, so um, as far as my diet goes, I have uh, stopped drinking, so uh, no alcohol until after. Well, I'm going to a wedding, though, in a couple of weeks, and I think I might have a little bit then. But aside from that, no more alcohol, not even like an after, after work beer, nothing, no more. Um, and that's all just trying to get my sleep patterns regular and get really good quality sleep because my legs have been taking a pounding with the training, and um, basically I need that sleep time for recovery. Um, I've been starting to slowly up my carbs good quality carbs, um, and, and, and watching my protein. Um, of course, I need a bit of an increase in protein to basically help the recovery of my legs. Um, doing a bit of, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm, you know, basically I'm kind of freaked out because I, I, I don't know if I'm as well prepared as I was for my last marathon. Uh, I think I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, thank God for muscle memory. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, things are good. My uh, endurance is my base is kind of coming back quickly. My endurance is, is coming up, but my speed is, is not there. So um, as for projected times, I don't know. That's going to be a secret. So um, what will be my, my projected time or what I hope to get, I will tell you afterwards, after the marathon. Uh, the main thing with this marathon is to go up and just have fun. Have fun and finish. That's, that's my uh, 
my motto of, of marathon running, have fun and finish. And if I beat my uh, personal time, my, my last time and my last marathon, bonus. Mm, so I'm going to head up on the Friday before the marathon. I'm going to take the Shinkansen, the bullet train up. And, um, and uh, you know, possibly meet some other YouTubers. I'd definitely like to. Um, but I'll be just sipping on coffee <laughs> or juice. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then maybe after the marathon, if, if I have... The mode, the ambition. If I can, if I can even prop myself up, I'll have a few beers for sure, and then uh, I'll come back down here the following Monday. Um, yeah, so there we go. I'm, I'm excited, and it's nice to get up running. But uh, it's getting windy. It's a windy one out tonight, so I'm gonna have dinner now, and then I'm gonna go running. So take care, and for all of you runners, run nerds out there, people who are into running, um, a little more info and update about my marathon training. Um, will I bring a camera with me? I'm definitely going to bring a camera with me for Marathon Weekend to record like everything that happens, like the Tokyo Marathon Expo, the day of the race, but I know it's a small camera, but it's still pretty big to carry with me. It's heavy, and, you know, I'd have to get kind of like a little kind of runner's fanny pack, and you know men with fanny packs are very cool. No, but I'd have to, I'd have to carry this with me, and I don't know, that's kind of a liability, to be honest. Um, I need, I need all the help I can get, and carrying something like this might not help me. But we'll see. Jury's still out on that one. So, um, everyone take care. There you go. Um, I know videos like this are not for everyone. Um, so, if you don't run and you don't care about running, but actually watch this whole video, I appreciate your uh, support. Your solidarity. Fight the power and all that stuff. Alright, see you later. Kevin, take care.